for our first set of new functions here for September 2012, we're going to see that we have these conversion functions. The first one is select, and then we're going to call the parse keyword. Now, over here, we're going to specify British pound sterling, and what we're doing is parsing this as money using a culture. So over here, we want to parse this using Great Britain. And what that would do is return just the numeric value. So again, we want to parse this as money. Money gives us a decimal. And over here, since the British pound sterling symbol will not be recognized, we're going to specify over here that we want to use the cultural information of English Great Britain. If it was English U.S., instead of seeing the sterling symbol, we would have seen the dollar sign. So over here, parse is great, but if we run into a problem, parse is going to hiccup and blow up our code right there with an error. The next function that we have is called try parse. Now, by the way, parsing, what we're doing is we're parsing a value, and we're going to output it as another type. So this is actually a conversion that we are performing by using the parse function. We also have try parse. Try parse will try to parse something. And if it fails, it's going to return null because the conversion wasn't successful. If the conversion is successful, then we would end up with the number. So you'll notice this one here is going to return null because the British pound sterling is not a valid U.S. symbol. So again, instead of throwing an error with parse, so over here, this one will return an error it would not return this value here. If I use try parse, then what that would do is try to convert it, and if it fails, it would return a null instead of blowing up my application. This would allow me to test for null and then figure out what to do going forward. In addition to try parse, we also have try convert. So over here we have the try convert function. We're going to specify a data type to convert to, and then what we want to convert. Notice over here, since this is a decimal type, and it could be a whole number for that matter, the conversion would succeed. If we try to convert to float the string value 1, we're going to return a null instead of our program returning an error.